We are ready, my king. Tell me, Zanakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so oh. act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. 
If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. Oh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Let's get this on. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home.
See what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Keep telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money! He always pays me back. After I threaten him. Exactly! Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will! Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. 
Uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F therapy. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Fib has been taken. By who? Dugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Up! Ella. I should probably not climb on this. Off we go now.
There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakis. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. The fuck? This tall grass will keep me hidden. <laughs> Can't let the rest of those malakis get away. Marcos is going... Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Let's go. Sammy, Riz will be at his shop. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself. 
if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marco says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Boris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you are going to pay. We both know it. But the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll pay you. Just stop. Fine. The money is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. You called? <gasps> oh, Cassandra, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. 
I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. Time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Luris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. You've made an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. <sighs> Kefalonia? <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos, and look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets, to a Mistios with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies.
Έλα. Yeah! 
careful not to get spotted. Who the fuck is doing that? Cassandra, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? Consider it a donation to the temple. What? No reward? Oh, Cassandra, I'm in your debt. If ever there's a way my temple can help you, or anyone, send them here. I will remember. Come on. and not a moment too soon. The Cyclops is more important than a boyer. We need to talk. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's hope Drusilla has a good sense of humor. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. 
He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. Of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. As valuable as Marcos says, it'll be hidden. Move! I need to stay hidden. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Naka, must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Ah! <laughs> 
did that come from? Come on. Be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? Considering how many showed up here, yes! What did I say about being seen? 
At least you taught them a lesson. All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Quiere, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back? Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast... Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest, south of Sami. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. Let's go. I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Or might the abandoned house and the people.
There you are! Let's go. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Fight for it! <laughs> comes with a territory. Then you're just the Mystios I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster, the man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is. If you'll follow me, Cassandra. Who 
are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? I don't think I'm meant to be out this far. The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. It 
Realize the mighty Odysseus' palace was here. Penelope's shroud in the flesh. I mean, cloth. Rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Uh, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. You look cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. There are a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. How about beautiful? That works even better. The other ones will come later. I hope later comes soon. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And once it was over, it took him ten years to get home. He wasted years of his life. All because the gods interfered. Stay home. Spend time with your family. Live your own life. But who will remember my story then? Would you rather be remembered, or happy? Hmm. I'll have to give that some thought. Thank you. Thank you. 
think I need a bigger boat. Cassandra? Good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. Pios e me peripesi. It's a fine ship, Telimenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What'll it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps, 
But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Let's go. <laughs> the Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Watch with the vigilant here. Another oh, the 
gods as my witness. I swear. Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them. I swear. All of them. I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I but you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Go get it! We 
shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. This used to be a nice village. But now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. I can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystheus by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were! You called, and I answered. Many claim to have blood of the gods in their veins. You're the first, I actually believe. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship, and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ah, gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia!
We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. Can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug! All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there, let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Where to now, Commander? 